And you're probably not ready to head back to the office, but working in our sweatpants is becoming a pipe dream. Just ask Mark. Find out next how you can feel good about returning to the office and how to dress for success. Well, are your comfy pants a little too worn in these days about to go back to work? And maybe our bodies aren't quite as tight as they were at the start of 2020. Well, our next guest is a personal style advisor and is here to help us. With us now is Jordan Stolch, founder of Mikado. Good morning, Jordan. Good morning, Elizabeth. Thank you for having me. Thanks for being with us. Our office clothes, they're feeling a little bit tighter these days. But you say first and they foremost, are. don't be too hard on yourself, which is hard to do when you're trying to zip up those pants. It really is, but I think it's critical right now because if we factor in everything we've all been through in the last year, you know, weight gain, if we're experiencing it, is very normal. It's commonly associated with stress and anxiety. So if you feel like things aren't fitting the way they did before, show yourself some grace, have compassion and empathy, and know that you've been through a difficult time and that there's a bright future ahead of us. What do we do as far as our wardrobe goes? Do we go out and buy a whole new wardrobe, maybe a size or two you yeah. know, bigger, or do we just kind of try to suck it in? <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's twofold. One, we want to test it ahead of time. So the last thing we want is to be panicking that morning of when we have to go back into the office, realizing then that nothing fits us. If we do know that we've gained some weight, though, we are going to need to add a few new things to our closet. Now, that does not need to be an entirely new wardrobe, but it's very important to have clothing that fits today's body at today's size so that when we do get back to work, we're feeling comfortable and confident and that we know that everything fits us properly and we're not having to worry about things that don't button up properly. That's right. And life, we hope, slowly getting back to normal. Many of us have aspirations yeah. of being that size we were before yeah. the pandemic. But you mm -hmm. say don't rush and buy a whole new wardrobe, right? Maybe just a few pieces. That's exactly it. And I think what feels daunting for a lot of people is that they have this idea of they've gained weight and now they have to replace everything. But what I'll tell you, Elizabeth, is that your coworkers do not notice if you're repeat wearing clothing. So you don't need a whole new wardrobe, just a few pieces that can interchange with one another and enough again, as I said before, to help you feel comfortable and confident as you go back into the workplace because we've been out of it for so long now. Right. The last thing we want to be focusing on is thinking of things that don't fit us properly. So Jordan, is there still a way to wear those yoga pants to work? Can we still be, can we still <laughs> well, be comfy? Then I have to break the bad news to you. Unfortunately, the yoga pants will have to go. Shoot. I know that's difficult for a lot of us, <laughs> but I don't think it means that we have to give up comfort entirely. In the last year, the expectations of a work wardrobe have obviously relaxed quite a bit. And as we go back, we can kind of pair those two together. So find the middle ground. How do we look presentable, but also stay comfortable? That might be swapping out our high heels for flat shoes. Or, you know, us ladies, instead of wearing the really fitted dresses, maybe we're, we wear pants. For men, it might be wearing a cardigan or a sweater instead of a blazer. So there are little swaps that we can do that help us to feel comfortable, but still maintain our professionalism. Good tips. For more information, go to MikadoPersonalStyling.com. Jordan, thanks so much for helping us feel confident. Absolutely. I hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks, you too.